what is every boy's top five ultimate super cool toys in the entire multiverse? The laser pistol, the shield generator, the invisibility ring, the hand scanner, and the spaceship. Unfortunately, we don't stock spaceships. Oh. From the tricorder of the far-flung future to the humble heartbeat sensor of FPS fame. Whether you're searching for aliens in the air ducts of your spaceship or Daft Punk are just trying to find their lost robot on a cloudy day. Red Wolf TV brings you the future today. Infinity Ward's hit new first-person shooter, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, has taken the video game scene by storm. Among various fancy equipment employed by the characters in the game, the Heartbeat Sensor is an achievement awarded upgrade coveted by all. The innocuous little black box of miracles allows players to track enemy positions regardless of visibility. Wouldn't it be awesome if we had these things in real life? This is the MT-1268 Motion Tracker by T-Cubed. Okay, so we're in the basic menu. The menu although it looks fancy, is a very simple scroll wheel type of setup. The plus and minus keys on the side will cycle through the four separate functions. Starting from the top, we have the ID number. The ID numbers run from 10 to 1. If you activate the channel, you choose it. The default is 18, but of course you can change it to any one from 1 to 20. We confirm the selection. This is the interface. The user themselves is assumed to be the little red plus in the middle. Then we have a slightly broken outer ring to mark the halfway mark to the maximum diameter. And then around, running around the outside we have the cool looking maximum diameter itself. Now, in the default setting the scale is set to 500 meters. Using the plus and minus keys, we can adjust the scale. Changing from 500 meters down to 300. And then further down to 150. We can see on the screen we've got a contact labeled 4. Now we're set at the default 500 and he seems very close so we're gonna change down to something a little bit more appropriate. Okay so at 150 meters we can see he's slightly offset from the center which puts him about 15, 20, 25 meters ish straight ahead. Oh look it's some random Chinese guy wearing a lab coat taking a break at the same time as we are and he just happens to have a motion track. All right, so what we're going to have to do here, starting off, is align this device so that we know where north is. So what I'm going to do over here right now is I'm going to try to use the sync function to synchronize their return. On your mark, it's counting down and they're waiting for it to count to zero before they approach. They are seeing this on their screens as well. All right, here we have devices two, three, and four. All three devices are on channel 20. And yet, device four is reading device two and device two is reading device four. But device three is not showing up. And similarly, on device three, neither two or four are showing up. Now, why is that? Well, if we press exit to go back into the menu, we can show you that one of the functions is password. Now, if we hit enter, you will have a five digit number. Now, device two is on 13345, the factory default. And device four is on 13345, also the factory default but device three is on 83345. Now, if your passwords don't match, that means that even if you're on the same channel, you will not recognize the other devices. For when you get in trouble, the SOS function allows the user to alert friendlies by pressing the mode button for three seconds, turning the user's blip red, which means the motion tracker protects not just the mission, but your safety as well. 50 years ago, this was science fiction. Today, it's a few hundred bucks. One down, four to go. 
Available now at redwolfairsoft.com.